Okay, so we've got um, taxable income between thirty-seven four fifty to uh, ninety thousand seven fifty. Then your your tax is going to be uh, five one. Five six point two five plus twenty five percent of whatever income is of your taxable income over uh, thirty seven four fifty, right? Okay, and so um, I guess I'll just make a little. Table. Um, ba, ba, da, ba, 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 so 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 that means um, and just to really drill this in, in and remember that taxable income is after you do all the deductions and all that good stuff like your fat, your standard deduction and all that stuff. That's when you get your taxable income. So so you know. So after deductions is what it is in any case, but if your taxable income is exactly thirty-seven four fifty, and then we have taxable income over thirty-seven four fifty, right? And then we got thirty-seven four fifty-one, thirty-seven four fifty-two, and so on. So taxable income over that would be zero, and this is one dollar over, that's two dollars over, and then we look at the tax we pay, right? So so if you earn if this is exactly your taxable income, then there's there's nothing over that. Well your tax is just exactly the five one five six two five. Make sense? If it's this amount, so you're exactly one dollar over, you pay five one five six two five plus 25% of, and 25% is 0 0.25, of means multiply, right? So 0 0.25 times um, that $1, so that would be just an extra 25 cents, basically. If this is your taxable income, that's $2 over, so you pay this amount always, plus 25% of whatever is over that, right? $2 and so on. So let's say we had, let's say our income was 37,000 and I'm just going to go um, 850 just for fun. How many dollars over the, over What's our taxable income over thirty-seven four fifty then? For this, yeah, just so you don't need. Just have a look. It's so we've just gone from four fifty here to eight fifty. So that's how much more? Yeah, it's four hundred dollars more, right? So we definitely pay the five one five six. 25 cents, but we also pay 25 cents on the dollar of this money, or in other words, 25% of 400, right? And in this case, it would be, you know, 51565 plus what, and plug that in the calculator or, or think what's a quarter of, that's just like, what's a quarter of $400? So this will work out to be. Just be a hundred dollars, right? Would it? Okay. And so if I add that on, that would be if this and this added on, that would just become five thousand two hundred fifty-six dollars twenty-five cents. Make sense? Okay. Okay. So that's how the whole thing. I just did the table to try to explain what's going on, right? Um, but in any case, um, what they want us to do is they want us to say that I is the income taxable income over that amount, and T 
is the tax. Okay, they want us to come up with a formula. And so, so remember when it was 400, we calculated this plus, you know, this was our calculation, right? When it was 400, right? That was our calculation when it was 400. So if, if the amount is I, our calculation is just this. 5156, 25 plus 0 0.25 times I. Make sense? And that's it. That's all it is, right? And so that's, so that's the formula, right? And is it linear or exponential? Well, it's going up as these, these guys are increasing by a dollar. Look at them, increasing by a dollar that we set it up. So as the, as the, as the input increases, the output is increasing by how much? Yeah, by 0 0.25. So we're, for every extra dollar we earn, we're paying exactly 25 cents which is the same constant amount. That's a constant growth rate of a number. It's an actual number. Not a percentage like of the past amount. It's, it's, it's 25 cents, right? So it's a constant um, um, growth rate. And so therefore we have a linear function. So this is a constant growth rate, so we have a linear function. All right, and um, I think that one of our questions, can we see the screen here? On this tax schedule, how much would a person know if their taxable income was $40,000, right? So we just think about, okay, if the taxable income, well, actual fact, actual fact, if the taxable income was $40,000, right, we first figure out What's the amount over 37,450? And yeah, let's get a calculator out for that and subtract. Because this subtract this is going to give um, $2,550. Right? So if we uh, calculator. Um, okay, so that was 40,000 subtract 37,450. And you will get two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. You can do that in calculus. So that's the amount over. Oh gosh, I'm not showing the paper anymore. Sorry. Oh sorry, sorry, sorry. So taxable income of forty thousand dollars. That is, if I go forty thousand subtract thirty seven thousand four fifty, I get two thousand five hundred fifty. That's the taxable income over thirty seven four fifty. So the tax is then we pay five one five six point two five plus twenty five percent of the income over that. So plus zero point two five times two five five zero, right? And plug that in the calculator and that's what we get. And that's our tax, 5793.75. Okay? Sure, and what else have we got? Okay, okay, I think we're good on that then.